Hey there, Sky Watchers. This is Deborah Nutburn, science reporter for the Los Angeles Times. This Wednesday, November 12th, the European Space Agency's Rosetta mission is going to try to drop a washing machine sized spacecraft onto a speeding comet. If everything goes according to plan, the lander known as Philae will touch down on the comet at 7.35 a.m. Pacific time. Sensors on the lander's feet will tell scientists what the comet feels like, a drill will sample some of its material, a thermometer will take its temperature, and several cameras on the lander will send back the clearest pictures yet of a comet's surface. The Philae landing is just the latest chapter in ESA's grand plan to travel with the comet through space, land on it, and then watch as the warmth of the sun causes it to turn on. Comets are believed to have formed four and a half billion years ago at the dawn of our solar system. Because comets have spent most of their lives in the ice cold of space, scientists believe that their icy nuclei contain pristine materials that have been locked in a deep freeze for billions of years. The Rosetta Orbiter was launched in 2004 with the Philae lander strapped to its side. Together, they spent 10 years flying around the inner solar system on a looping trajectory that took them past Earth three times, past Mars once, and through the asteroid belt twice. After 10 years of space travel and a three-year hibernation, they finally met up with their target in August of 2014. Since then, the orbiter and the comet have been moving through space together at 84,000 miles per hour. The orbiter has mapped the comet's gravity fields and examined the areas where the gas jets seem to be springing from. It has also sent back pictures of the comet's surface so ESA scientists can figure out where the best place to send Philae down might be. But here's where it gets tricky, because there is no very best spot. Much of the comet is strewn with boulders, its surface appears to have steep slopes, and this makes scientists and engineers nervous. They have outfitted Philae with harpoons and ice drills to help it stay on the comet once it gets there, but those tools won't help Philae to land upright, and once Philae leaves Rosetta's side, it's in free fall. And here's another bummer. Because the gravity of the comet is so much less than the gravity of Earth, it will take Philae an excruciating seven hours to float from orbiter to comet. Then there's another 28-minute delay for a signal from Rosetta to reach Earth and tell us everything is okay. ESA has spent more than 15 years preparing for this moment. They are confident that the scientific and engineering teams are fully capable of getting the lander down safely, but they're also going to need some luck, and we won't know until Wednesday if they got it.